Alrighty, so next video. This is 2018 for 8th grade. Continuing to question 30. It says, which situation is not proportional? So what do you know about proportional? It's perfect. That means if you didn't buy any, you have to pay for any. So it's bought none, cost none. It's going to cross 0, 0. It's going to be y equals mx plus 0. The y-intercept is 0. That might be true. And the slope is just the slope. So the number of gallons in this many barrels with 42 gallons of water in each barrel. I'm going to put my variable on each. So 42 gallons of water in each barrel. An amount of employee makes per hour earned in this many hours. And there's my per. The weight in a uh, puppy that gains 2 pounds per week, if its starting weight is 8 pounds. Okay. And then the last one, the cost of purchasing pounds of bananas at blank per pound. Of those four, one's different because it's the one that does not work. So it should have zero fee. So this is, shows us 42 gallons of water in each barrel, the end. This is 850 per hour, no more, no less. This is two pounds per week and starts at eight pounds. And this one is uh, 55 cents per week. Which one's different? Answer is H. Why? Because it has an extra number of eight. And that's your starting. If it was proportional, it started at zero. Question 31. What's going on? Oh. Now, is transformation the fancy word? Or is translated the fancy word? That one's nothing. You can omit that one. It's this one. Do you all see slide? Do you see a plus sign, maybe? Maybe this is an add, subtract. What about multiplying? Multiplying is wrong. Six to the left, four to the... Whoops. Four units up, there that is, six to the left. I'm going to box those in, then kind of gets crazy. Would this be my, I don't know, my right? Is this my left? By the way, the L is right down here if you're not sure. I hope you know this is up, and I hope you know this is down. So, it has to have an add or subtract. So, you can, the first two, don't pick them. What else can I say? Don't pick them. And didn't it say 6 to the left? Isn't left on the negative side? So it should be x minus 6. And if that's true, you should have picked choice D. x minus 6. Question 32. He's collecting data from several of his friends about the number of hours they spent sleeping on the number of hours they spent playing on video games Saturday. He records the data on the scatter plot. Based on this scatter plot, what is the best prediction of the number of hours uh, of Phil's friend spent sleeping when one friend is one hour playing video games? So, would you agree that kind of this is the, and I'm going to grab my pencil. Kind of, isn't that the bottom of the line? Wouldn't that be the top of the line? So, I could just use that extra pencil that you're supposed to take with you. There's the bottom. There's the top. It's somewhere in that zone. I can tell you that much for sure. It has to be in that window, though. So based on the scatter plot, what is the best prediction of the number of hours? By the way, that's sleeping. This is hours. Hours that one of his friends spends sleeping when the friend spends one hour playing. Go find one hour playing video games. That's one hour sleeping. That's one hour playing video games. So I'm looking for that piece right there. And so if that's true, I'm going to use my fancy highlighter. I'm looking right there. So, nine hours is predicted. That would be here. There's choice A. Choice B is eight hours. Choice C is ten hours. Choice J or D is seven hours. Is it D? No. Is it C? No. So, here's A and here's B. I would say it's going to be closer to the middle. Answer, A. Kind of easy. Next. The diameter of a rectangular piece of paper is this many inches. He folded it on the diagonal. Which measure closest to the length of the diagonal in inches? you got to know some key words. Here's a piece of paper. And it's 8.5 by 11. Those are inches, and I'm not going to... But it's inches. Diagonal is catty corner. It's right here. And if you, would you agree that's a right angle? It would be if I drew it correctly. 
And if I shade this picture in, what shape did I end up making? Why, yes, a triangle. How about a right triangle? How about a squared plus b squared equals c squared kind of triangle? How about a is tall, b is the base, and c is the hypotenuse? So how about a is 8.5 squared, and b is 11 squared, and c is still c squared? And how about put all of that in y1, and put that in y2, and see what you get. Alrighty, so I type mine in. There's my 8.5 squared plus 11 squared, and there's my x squared. Remember, you don't have any c squares. Um, I did windows of negative 200 because I know 11 times 11 is 121. And these answers are going to be 19 times 19, and, and those are going to be some big numbers. So I did 200. If it's not going to work, we'll find out in a minute. There's my graph. And so I'm going to do, and you can see where the straight line comes across, and you can see the parabola, it's the curve. And then it's going to be second trace, five, three enters later, uh, 13.9. And I believe that is choice D. Now, what about doing it by hand? I can do it by hand. So, but you're going to use your calculator, though. So you're going to have to do 8.5 squared, so 8.5 squared. Be sure to use the little 2 button. That's 72.25. And then 11 squared is 121, if you know your facts. And then add those together. You get 193.25, probably. And the square root of that is 13.91. It's actually 13.901. Question 34. The amount of water an electric dishwasher uses to wash dishes varies directly with the amount of loads of dishes. The dishes use 32 gallons of water to wash 4 loads of dishes. How many gallons of water do you need for 10 loads of dishes? The key word is right here. Varies directly, if I can find it. Right there. And what does varies directly mean? Direct variation. What does direct variation mean? Proportion. That means line, double line, line. It means proportion. That means you're going to have an A, a B, a C, and you're going to have an X, and you're going to start diagonal divide. Proportion. And I'm going to probably use some nouns out of the story. So it looks like to me 32 gallons of water, 4 loads of dishes. So 32 gallons, 4 loads of dishes. And then 10 loads would go here, and this would be x, and then you solve for proportions. Start, diagonal, divide. What's 32 times 10? Divide that by 4. Use your lovely calculator. And I got 80. So 32 times 10 divided by 4, 80. Put that in a griddable. So your griddables, and that needs to be $80. I won't take 80. So it's definitely, so you got your positive and negatives. It's definitely positive. Decimal goes here, 0, 0, 80. You have to bubble the 8. You have to bubble the 0. Here's another 0. Here's another 0. Bubble those two. Perfect. Next. 35, your very favorite. A kid table. So here's the kid. Here's the table. What can you tell me about tables, or these tables? How about X's can't repeat? Hey, what was the key word of all this? I think the key word is function, because it's no fun being chopped in half. True. If you look at that one, everybody's sitting in a good place. If you look here, you took that kid and chopped him in half, you took that kid and chopped him in half, and that's bad news if you're the kid. It says X's can't repeat. I think those are all repeating. And over here, it looks like two are repeating. I'd pick A and move on. 36. Similar. That's best friends. That's proportional. True. All true. I would take the little picture and draw it over here so it's easier to not play a I'm lost. There's my 8, 5, that's a B, not a 6, and that's a 2. Now, be mindful, so I don't need this picture anymore, so don't worry about it. 
So I'm going to read through these. Be careful. Remember, you've got the big picture and the little picture. Now, they can do big, big equals little, little. They could do big over little equals big over little. This strategy works. This strategy works. If they do this, it does not work. Because if the big ones are on top, the big ones are on top. And if the little ones are on the bottom, the little ones are on the bottom. See, the big ones are first, the little ones were second. The big ones were on the top, the little ones were on the second. This has no pattern. So you're looking for this one so I can chop it off. Here we go. Find A. Here is A. It's right there. Who's A's best friend? Eight. So either best friends can be in two places. Best friends can be here or best friends can be here. And by the way, eight is in that spot. Uh, what size is shape A? That's a big picture. What size is eight? That's a little picture. If that's true, this one has to be big and this one has to be little. Is letter B from the big picture? No. By the way, F is wrong. Go to the next one. 3.2. Who is 3.2's best friend? Two. Two can be in two places. Two can be here. Two can be here. That's it. So 3.2 is the big picture. Looks like 2 is going to be the little. So that makes this one has to be the big and this one has to be the little. And is A from the big picture? Yes, it is. And who's A's best friend? 8. Yes, it is. I'm going to put that as a yes, or at least a maybe. Next. Who's B's best friend? 6.4. I agree. So there they are. So and B is the little one and 6.4 is the big one. So this has to be little and this has to be big. Is 8 from the little picture? Yes. Is 5 its best friend? No, because A is. That one's out. Next, who's 2's best friend? 2's best friend is 3.2, so you've got little, big. And you understand the little? The little picture versus the big picture. This has to be little. This has to be big if it matches. Is B on the little picture? Yes. And who is B's best friend? A or 6.4? 6.4 is B's best friend. That makes this one wrong, and you should have picked G anyway. Question 37. The cost of attending a college is $19,700, and that's for first year. Your parents, grandparents are going to pay for half, and you get a scholarship for $5,000. Which amount is closest to the minimum a student will need to save every month in order to pay for the remaining cost of the 12 months? Now, before we get crazy with numbers, let's go with logic. It says every month. Do you think you can save $1,000 every month for 12 months? I don't think so. And do you think you're going to save $800? And go to school. I don't think so. So I'm pretty sure these two are wrong. And I hope it's A because that's the smaller number. These two are not going to work. Not for a kid that's in high school. So here we go. And if you look at these numbers here, aren't they like $200 off? That's going to be $20,000 because I don't like all those extra numbers. $20,000 looks way better to me. If your grandparents pay for half, what does that mean? Divide by two... And they paid $10,000. Grandparents paid. What if a scholarship pays you $5,000? Well, $5,000 scholarship. And they paid. Now remember, this is what you owe. Somebody paid $10,000. Somebody paid $5,000. How much more do you owe? Well, $20,000 minus $10 minus $5,000. 20,000 minus 10 is 10,000. Minus 5,000 leaves you with 5,000. Do you really think you're going to save $5,000 a month? I don't think so. And since there's 12 months in a year, you're going to divide by 12. And so 5,000 divided by 12 gives you something. $416.66. I'm just going to write the 416. Oh, fine. I'll write the rest. So, which number is that? Well, A. But how come theirs doesn't match mine? Because they started with 19.7 and I used to 20,000. Answer is A. Remember, it's got to be logical. You can't save $5,000 a month. I can't save $5,000 a month. I'd be going hungry. Alrighty, this one's going to be fast. I took the table. I put it in stat edit. I'm going to go stat Calculate, linreg, list 1, comma, list 2, comma, vars, y vars, enter, enter, enter. And I can actually answer from right this screen. Doesn't M say negative 5 and B is 70? The answer is negative 5. 